gue mimin, gue butuh vitamin. Trisari dulu bos. We have looked at how have um, heat waves and particularly hot days and hot days might sound very nice, but it, they are actually dangerous. So that's the type the, the type of days when mortality increases quite a lot. How they have changed in the 10 years since the signing of the Paris Agreement. And on a global average, we see 11 more hot days today than we would have 10 years ago. And uh, that means 11 days globally on average where mortality will be very high, which is particularly dangerous for people working outdoors, elderly people with pre-existing conditions. But when we reach or if we reach 2.6 degrees, it will be almost two months of additional hot days and uh yeah and so that that's way too much actually to be able to adapt The parts of the world that have the most hot days, as you say, are especially countries that are very close to the ocean, small island states and tropical countries. It's those countries where you have very big, vulnerable populations that are not adapted to changing temperatures. We need to remember why we actually have this Paris Agreement. It's not to save the polar bear. It is because by not having this agreement, by not caring about climate change and by not transitioning away from fossil fuels, we massively violate the human rights of the vast majority of people on this planet. While the Paris Agreement has achieved to avoid the what we would have called the worst case scenario or the baseline scenario, there's still uh, a huge amount that needs to be done. 